Hey, welcome to this week's video. Today we're talking about sound effects and more specifically how you could make your own sound effects. If you have watched any of the videos I've made on this YouTube channel, you might notice it, a consistency with VHS statics, camera sounds, and those kind of elements that I like to bring into the videos to kind of make them come alive a little more. I found myself with a very limited amount of sound effects in my library. So I thought I'd record some of them to, to make these videos come alive and to actually have the exact sound that I wanted for the videos. So taking that into consideration, I thought I'd make this video and kind of explain how I make my sound effects and a little bit of the setup, but also kind of the idea behind it. So the, the sound effects that we do today is focusing on camera sound effects, but, but focusing on the sounds that the camera makes. I went into Fat Llama to rent the photography camera because they are analog, so they have a little more sound to it. They kind of have more body. They're usually fully metal, so they make better sounds. Um, so that's kind of what I wanted for my sound effects. Uh, if you don't know what Fat Llama it is, it's a rental place, but where people can lend any of their equipment or items in there and anyone else can rent it from. Okay, the setup was very straightforward. So recording to a Zoom H6, used a NTG4 Plus microphone, the stand that I got for podcast, cable, and headphones. Oh, I almost forgot my headphones. And then I just started playing around with the camera, trying to find out the different sounds that it made, try and do things with different amount of speed. I noticed that there was very interesting kind of like reactions from the camera from whenever you press certain things. Once I had my setup ready, I tried to dial in the microphone to be as sensitive as possible because the idea is to try and get those macro sounds almost out of the camera. Uh, but the camera is very robust. So the goal here was to just try and extract as much sound as I could out of the camera. I also had a roll of film at home that I bought three years ago or so that was just sitting here and I popped that into the camera and I noticed a different weight in the camera and different reactions from the camera. So I also thought it was interesting to get it with and without the film. Uh, the film itself also had interesting sound, so I kind of used that to my advantage. And after playing around with the camera for about 15 to 20 minutes, this is kind of the sounds that I took out of it. And the goal now, you kind of pop those into uh, editing software and you tweak them and change their speed and you, and you play around with them to see how they sound the best. All the sound effects being used on this video so far is from that shoot. I was really happy with the results that I got from the camera. I think the sounds came out really cool and I also managed to change them into things that I was quite happy with. Once you bring those sounds into post-productions and you start messing with tempo and speed and all those variables, you start seeing how much you can take out of those sounds. If you did like the sounds on this video and you want them, uh, there'll be a free download link below. And that's all I have today. Thank you for watching and subscribe if you like this video and if you want to see more. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll see you next week in the next video. Goodbye.